Have you ever wished you could pick all your favorite fruits from just one tree? Sounds like something from a Shel Silverstein book, but Syracuse University professor Sam Van Aken found the answer to doing just that, and he's managed to do it with 40 different fruits all in one tree, Margaret. I think it's awesome. It's crazy. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It almost doesn't seem real. Peaches, plums, apricots, nectarines, cherries, almonds, just to name a few. I think it's really interesting. So he uses this mechanism. It's called grafting. He takes let's say, an apricot branch from another tree, from an apricot tree, and he cuts a piece of another branch on another tree. And then he literally tapes that on, or he glues it on there, until they kind of mend together. And now this tree has an apricot part of it. And then he'll do the same thing with 40 different other fruits. And it's really cool. It started in 2008. He stumbled upon this orchard with thousands of different fruits in it, um, 200 different varieties of plums and apricots alone. Um, he learned it was going to be abandoned, so he took over the lease and turned that into his crazy Frankenstein botany laboratory. And this is the result. This is one of the results. I think it's really cool. And it's really interesting that you can have different fruits literally just transplanted onto a different, uh, onto a different tree. It's really interesting to me. I, it is interesting. I mean, this tree that's trending, uh, you know, sculpture through grafting. Who knew? What a concept. But yeah. We've been doing this for a while, though, now. Not with 40, but like plums and apricots, we've seen hybrids, hybrids of those. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a, this is a little too Alice in Wonderland, a little too Willy Wonka for me. I, you, you kind of just want to lick a pineapple and have it taste like pineapple. I mean, it's awesome, and you know, kudos to him for doing it, how creative. But, I mean, 40, that's, that seems like... He actually chose 40 like because it appears often in the Bible. It's a number that represents bounty. So, look, that corresponds. I don't think he's a particularly religious guy. He might be, but I don't think that's the main reason. I think above everything, he himself, he said this is an art project. So that's just another, you know, symbol in, in the art. But, you know, he said that he's, he's left these trees all around town because he wants people to kind of just stumble upon them and discover them themselves and kind of notice, wow, that tree has different parts of it blossoming at different times, different kinds of leaves. The <laughs> no, they're, they've actually, they're, I, I'm pretty sure it's been welcomed. It's, it's pretty cool. And I, I think it's awesome. And, could this possibly, you know, have some implications, you know, for the future, for future growing of fruits on trees? Maybe this is a more practical way of doing it. Maybe now that we know that grafting works, we can start to grow trees that are just naturally like that. I mean, this is maybe just the infancy of this whole new way of growing fruits. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I mean, that's obviously a little bit more down, down the, down the road. But for now, I think this is really cool because, you know, I'm sure this apricot, right, that's growing on there, or the strawberry, whatever's on there, it He's has not seeds. genetically modifying these. He's just no. making their branches grow together. Exactly. But maybe that could somehow change the seeds, you know, given that that branch that that fruit is on is connected to another kind of tree. So maybe they different kind of nutrients babies, get in there. Then, fruit right. babies. I mean, that's Interracial possible. Interracial babies the cutest. Maybe you know, fruit I babies just... are the cutest. <laughs> Mixed fruit babies are the cutest. Okay, whatever. You, you get what I'm trying to go at, get at here. But let us know what you guys think about this Frankenstein-like tree. Please do comment. I'd love to read them. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Live TV for more.